Go back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. Got a video today from Amy J again. Are men taking the soft guy era drizzle drizzle too far? I don't think so. I think it's hilarious. Keep going, guys. Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that chow. Chow time. So, men, as the president of the men's rights movements, this is just a PSA. So, if your woman tries to institute boundaries on you and tells you don't snap other women or don't openly flirt with other women at the bars or your clubs or if they don't want you, you know, being inappropriate in any way, you you just gaslight them and you tell them that they're insecure and they have low self-confidence. So just throw it right back on them. You know, they taught us, so we know they, how to they do they it They teach now. us. You're and right. And then uh, what you do is you give them the silent treatment for two days, and then you say that this relationship, you know, we need some space. And so you can pretty much think of any excuse to kind of just be like, F you, and leave for a few hours. And during that time when you leave, you can go and hang out with other women, and you don't have to feel bad about you know what you're doing True. because you manufactured a fight back there mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. don't let women try to institute boundaries on you or try to control you that's controlling and manipulative and that's probably a narcissist so very very controlling True. Uh, scary stuff these women out here don't don't let them control your behavior Protect yourselves things. at all Drizzle, times man. so i'm talking to this girl <laughs> and she asked me how my day is going i let her know uh you know i'm a little stressed out i'm getting this flip ready to sell i gotta sell for 525 and then she says, well, good luck. Hope it goes well. I'll be praying for you. Uh, what? I'd go ahead and block her immediately because you hear that I'm selling a house. I'm stressed out. And you know the price. And, and you, you don't, don't buy it? immediately open escrow. Right. The $25,000 non-refundable deposit and close within seven days old cash. Right. Like, I don't have time for you. If you're broke, just, just say, say that. So. If you can't afford my lifestyle and the things that I need in my life, <laughs> just the guy in the background is just like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Say that because I'm in my soft guy era, and I don't have time for any 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 of that broke shit. I don't. Drizzle, 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 drizzle. Damn right she would. My drizzle brothers. Yes, drizzle, sir. Drizzle unto you. Drizzle, drizzle and unto I you, sir. Three X, being in my soft guy era, that I wanna bestow upon you. Preach good and stuff. And you stitch this video and tell me your icks. All right, I will. Here we go. Ick number one. Mm-hmm. Student loan debt. Oh. Nah, baby. Mm -hmm. We can't have no ops mm -hmm. like the Department mm -hmm. of Education. <laughs> Those be the feds. You got to take care of them before I can mess with you. True. It's so nasty, so disgusting yeah. if you got student loan debt. I can't even get with that. I can't deal with you, baby, with student loan debt. Mm -hmm. Pay that off first. All right? Ick number two. Go on, good stuff. You sir. still got a mortgage? What? <laughs> you telling me you so broke, you didn't pay your whole house off at one time? What? You got a 30-year mortgage? <laughs> Baby, I don't plan to be with you for 30 years. <laughs> and I'm going to need my half of the house that I didn't pay for when you sell it, when we Correct. break up. I'm going to need my half, baby. So I need you to have a house that's fully paid off. Or at least some good equity. And number three. Since I'm Passenger Prince Hakeem, <laughs> when you pick me up, I'm going to need to make sure that all of your car maintenance is done. Mm. I need the car clean, no check engine lights on, no ball tires. Better be no dust on the freaking armrest. See, the Passenger Prince Hakeem can't be out here sliding around on some bald Walmart tires just because you didn't want to spend the money to keep me safe. Let me know your ex brothers. Drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. Soft got era. Ooh. I'm convinced that men want the, what they want and we want a man. There's a war going on on TikTok. It is 5B against 4B. Sprinkle, sprinkle against drizzle, drizzle. What's 5B? But let me explain the difference between all four. The 4B movement is women who are simply done. They're not trying to get back at anybody. They're just trying to live their lives in peace. The 5B movement is about men getting back at those women for rejecting them. What? As they see it. The women are not rejecting them. What the fuck is 5B? When do we get 5B? Did I, did I miss something on a vacation? They're choosing themselves. Sprinkle Sprinkle is about women getting the most that they can from a man. Okay. Drizzle drizzle is men being ironic. Correct. They're saying, come on, ladies, 
don't judge us on our wallets and we will not take advantage of you. True. Let me give you a hint. You've got to get to know yourself before you can get to know anybody else authentically. Or you will project all your insecurities. It's not fair and it's not right and it can't work. And let me introduce you to this Frizzle Frizzle movement. We don't need you, but we do desire you. So if that sounds good to you, Sprizzle, sprizzle. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Okay. You don't need us, but you desire us? I don't need you to desire me. I need you to need me. That's what I need from you. So if you don't need me, what do I have to do in your life? What am I even in your life for? Okay, so you want to be in your soft man era. I'm paying all the bills. Okay. I'm taking you to Ruth Chris. What? I'm paying for your haircut. What? I'm paying for your gym membership. Damn. Your phone bill. Mm -hmm. Your car note. What? You even want to go through my phone. Have the phone. You can have the phone. Fuck it. I don't want the phone. But you better not say nothing about my outfit. I don't care if I want to be a... Girl, if you are paying for everything, taking care of everything, you do you. Hippie nudist. Don't say nothing about my outfit. I'm wearing what I want to wear when I want to wear it. Thank you. Okay, you know what? If Drizzle, drizzle. If you are willing to do all those things for us, sure. I'll, I'll give you that one. At least personally me. You get to dress to whatever you want. I will get to do whatever I want when you're dressed that way. But, yeah, as long as you're paying the bills. Okay, so the drizzle drizzle movement. I respect it. I really had fun with it, honestly. But, and a lot of the guys are real sweet, you know. But a lot of the guys are delusional as fuck. Because, it's funny, delusional. Number one, what a woman chooses to wear has nothing to do with who she chooses to sleep with. What? So, just because a woman wears a crop top does not make her a whore. And just I agree like with that. Every man doesn't want to take care of and support every type of woman. If a woman did want to take care of and support a man, she, me personally, would not want to take care of any type of man. Just like Kevin Samuel said, like if a woman wants to be taken care of and she wants a high value man, she needs to take care of herself, be a size eight or whatever. If a man wants to be taken care of, especially by me, he can't be no big old lazy. I don't want no big lazy tub of That's exactly what we don't want from you. What the fuck would you do if you weren't working and doing things and just sitting on your ass waiting for us to bring you the money and stuff? What would you do? Or sweating out my couch. I would rather be by myself than to be with somebody that I'm not attracted to. That's and okay. that doesn't have anything to do with whether I'm taking care of him or he's taking care of me. I'm not going to let no man take care of me, provide for me, be around me, do anything for me that I'm not attracted to because I'm not no using as B word. Okay. I literally fun. So you're going to take care of the all the other men that you know you're not attracted to or what what's what, what's this conversation going to myself i take care of myself have been so really this was all in fun and at the end of the day if i be with somebody and i'm attracted to this person and i see this person works really hard and i see that this man he needs a break and he does for his family why not why not give him you know, some time off, like, you know what I'm saying? Well, you just said because you're not attracted to him. If you're not attracted to him, you won't give him any of these things. What happens if he does all those things and he is all those things, but you're not attracted to him then? That doesn't... I'm, I'm a, a woman of loyalty. I'm a woman of kindness. But see, this is where a lot of men are getting it messed up. You can't be out here calling women whores and being disrespectful and saying disrespectful things and being sneaky and deceptive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I call women whores all the time. 
but they deserve it because they're making whorish comments and wearing whorish things on the video. I think it's reasonable. And unloyal and think you want to sneak around and cheat and do whatever you want to do and think that somebody still has to do anything for you. A woman does not have to do a thing for you. She doesn't even have to be with you. Because if you haven't noticed, most women these days, especially I can tell in myself, I'm going to choose my peace over having a man. You are literally a man. What you literally said, this whole conversation that you've been explaining to us is what men have been saying. And you turned yourself into a man. You care about your peace so obviously men care about our peace too. This is why Midtow has been growing for so long and Midtow has been out there for so long. You guys are barely wanting to do the exact same thing as us. Why? Because you guys want to copy us. This is pretty much what it is. I'm going to choose my peace over having a friend. <laughs> Hell, I will choose my peace over my mother. Anybody who comes around me and they don't make me feel... See how selfish that is? I would never choose peace over my mother if she was still alive. Happy, like if they or they take away from my happiness because I actually make myself feel happy. Anyone or anything, any it could be a job. If you're taking away from my happiness, my peace that I have every day, you have to go. Because stress and fake friends will kill you faster than an op. But yeah, I don't have a problem being a team player. No, you but do. Yeah, I got to like what I'm looking at. And I got to love how I feel. So yeah, take that into accountability before you try to include yourself in something. Take that into accountability? <laughs> I think you're using accountability wrong. Like, they are so bad at taking their own accountability. They don't even know how to use the word correctly. <laughs> it has nothing to do. Drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. You have to convince a...